Hi guys, uh, Dave Davis, CTO DVS. Just going to give you a quick run through of uh, how to build up a preset and set up a troll through a PTZ. Something we, something we get asked quite often. It's very simple to do, so I'll give you a quick run through. First things first, web browsing to the PTZ. We find this is the easiest and most effective way to do this. Once we've web browsed into it, we've got the PTZ control on the left hand side. Move the PTZ to preset one, which is generally our home position, which is there, preset one. So if I call it, it's already in preset one position. Then we can move it to preset two position. So using the PTZ controller, we move this round to the position we like to be preset two. So I slowed it down because the screen capture software prefers the image at a slower rate. Now we'll say preset two is there, save that. And if we go to preset three, there's probably already one saved already. Okay, let's zoom that in slightly. Bring it to the path a little bit more. There we go. And we'll say preset three. Okay, so we've saved our presets. What we'd normally do is then under configuration, So I've got it under PTZ. So under the PTZ, we've got schedule tasks. So you can do two things. You can do a schedule task, which is if you enable a schedule task, between certain times, you can run uh, patrol, preset, till, tilt scan, dome reboot, dome adjust, aux output, auto scan. So during a certain period of time, between Monday and Friday, uh, Saturday and Sunday can be different. You can choose one of the following options and then that action will be driven. I'll turn that off or as we do under park action I set the park action is 60 seconds and then the park action type is preset what we can do is say for instance let's make it five seconds and then we can say let's run a patrol so when we take manual control once we let go it'll go back to a, a patrol of the site so we'll say patrol and action type is one so it's patrol one click save so we haven't built the patrol yet so what we need to do then is go up into the live view we set our presets then we can go into the patrol there and we've got the patrol path one two three through to eight and then we can edit this and we don't have any set in there at the moment what we'll do is we'll add a preset so it goes preset one Speed is 30, but we can make it higher or lower. And we'll go, it, it stays there for 15 seconds by default. Well, let's make it three seconds. And then we'll add another one. Preset two. Say uh, five seconds. I think the minimum is 15. Currently on this version of firmware. And then we'll add another one is three. Okay, so we've added three in there. Click on OK. And it's saved. So if I take manual control, move the PTZ out of the way. Now after the predefined five seconds, it should go back to preset one, which it will. It'll stay there for 15 seconds, then go to preset two, then go to preset three, and then back to preset one. So what you can do actually is build these up so these can be active uh, either, uh, so as the park action, if, if a security guard is monitoring the site, they can monitor the site. Once they relinquish control, the PTZ will go back to like a uh, patrol like it is now, or you can activate it so during certain times. So in the day, it's manual control. When everyone leaves the site in the day, it goes back to a preset scan, and you can have different scans at different times depending on your site layout operation needs. As you can see, it's very simple to achieve. And because we've set it up as a park action, it'll do this without you having to start and stop this. But again, if you use the schedule task, you can make it follow a time period instead of always doing this. Hopefully, you'll find that of great interest. I'm going to stop that now. Hopefully, you'll find it of great interest, very helpful, and we hope you enjoy watching it. Don't forget, subscribe to our videos, where as soon as they go live, you'll be alerted to them, and you can watch and make benefit of them. Thanks for watching. Cheers.